Hello and welcome to this new video where I will introduce you to Raspberry Pi Pico's C++ C++ standard development kit following which I will show you how to create your own project for Raspberry Pi Pico using C language on a Visual Studio Code IDE. Before starting, I assume that you have already downloaded the required fill tools for programming the Pico using Visual Studio Code. If you haven't, I already made a dedicated video on that tutorial. Go check that out. Link is in the description box below or on the top i button. For more videos like this, do subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. SDK provides header files, libraries, and build system that are necessary to write programs for RP2040 based devices such as Raspberry Pi Pico in C, C++, or ARM assembly language. The SDK is designed to provide an API and a programming environment. A single program runs on the device at a time with conventional main method within which we have an infinite while loop to allow the control flow to hang in there eliminating the requirement of the return function. We will get into it deeper when we write our own program in the ID. The standard C and C++ libraries are supported along with the APIs for accessing RP2040's hardware, including DMA, IRQs, and a wide variety of fixed function peripherals and PIO. Additionally, the SDK provides higher level libraries for dealing with timers, USB, synchronization and multi-core programming with additional high-level functionality built on PIO such as audio. A point to note here is that though the SDK is quite comprehensive, no direct hardware access is required. But in case you wish to, the register definitions are very well commented. Let us now create a Pico project from scratch to learn more about the SDK and build process. For that, go to Windows search bar, type in developer command prompt for Visual Studio 2019. Run it as administrator and allow Windows permission. In the command prompt, type in CODE code. This will open Visual Studio code with all correct environment variables set so that the tool chain is correctly configured. Go to the Explorer menu and add Pico examples directory to your workspace. This will automatically start to build all your examples present there. In case your configuration does not happen automatically, manually choose the tool chain as GCC ARM non EAP 10.2.1 in the bottom blue bar below. Down in the build for bring directory, you will find the .uf2 file which you can drag and drop onto your Pico's flash. If you take a look at the directory listing of Pico examples bring project, you will find two files. Firstly, the main program file, which is the C file, then you will find a CMake file. So, in order to create a Pico project, we definitely need these two files. The first step is to import the Pico SDK import.cmake file from the Pico SDK external folder. Let's do that. Create a folder, name it as blink underscore showbit. It's my name, you can name it as you wish. Go to Pico SDK, then external. You'll find the .cmake file which says Pico underscore SDK underscore import. Copy that. Come back to your project folder. Place it over here. Moving on to the next step. We have to create a C file for our project. Open up Visual Studio Code from the command prompt with administrator permissions. Add your project to the workspace. Right click on your project and create a new file. Name it as blink.c. Alright, first of all we need to add the necessary headers. The header files that we are going to require in this project of onboard LED blink is the Pico standard library function. Sorry, sorry, header file. Let's include that. 
Pico standard library dot edge is an umbrella library which also includes several other libraries along with it which are hardware GPIO library, Pico time library which also includes Pico runtime library and Pico standard link library. We can broadly classify the libraries of Pico into two categories which link the user code where you write in your application in C to RP2040's hardware. The first one which starts with pico slash subname dot h. This provides high level APIs to access RP2040's hardware. But we do have another thinner abstraction layer which starts with the word hardware slash subname dot h like hardware slash GPIO dot h or hardware slash I2C dot h. All right. So, after including the Pico library, what we need to do is create a main function. This is where the program execution would begin. As we know, the onboard LED is placed on pin number 25. Oops. So, let's create a constant variable for that. Alright, as this pin is a general purpose input output pin, we need to initialize with a function gpio init. The command to do that is gpio underscore init with an argument as pin number, but we will provide the variable name. Now we need to set the mode of the gpio pin number 25 as output. We do that by the function gpio underscore set underscore dir first argument will be the variable name having the pin number and a macro signifying output mode with gpio out next up we create an infinite while loop as while one within which we would do two things set the pin 25 as high provide a delay set the pin again low, provide the same data. We do it with functions gpio underscore put argument as variable name and one signifying as high. Then we provide a delay with sleep underscore ms which is in milliseconds and I would provide a parameter as 500 signifying 500 milliseconds. Let me create some spaces over here. Then again pull this pin as low by using gpio put and 0 to signify low or ground then we repeat the delay next up we create text file as cmake list.txt unless and until you import the sdk and create this file your configuration won't be able to locate Pico SDK's location on your machine. That is why it was saying that it could not detect Pico standard library header file. Right click on your project, create a new file, name it as capital C, capital M, then all small c make lists.txt. And sorry, I missed a hash over here. It should be hash include pico standard library header file. Alright, now you can see that please update your include part here which cannot detect the header file or locate the header file of pico standard library. Let's add in the commands in the cmake file to fix it. cmake is nothing but a build tool. The SDK uses cmake to manage the build. CMake list.txt file is used to discover source files and generate code autocomplete suggestions. CMake list.txt file provides a third specification of how your application should be built, which CMake uses to generate a robust build system used by Make, Ninja, or other build tools. The build system produced is customized for the platform like Windows or Linux distribution and by any configuration variables the developer chooses. The first command we type is to provide or specify a minimum version of cmake. We do it by providing the command cmake underscore minimum underscore required in caps lock version 
as my version is 3.19.4 all right next up we include the pico underscore sdk underscore import cmake file which we just copied and one more thing i made a mistake over here comments are not provided with double slash they are provided with hashtag in cmake files make sure you correct them as we have created a project with the name blink underscore show bit so we need to provide that to the cmake so this is my project name after writing your project name provide an underscore and type in project so if your project name is blink provide underscore then project so this part is your project name or the file name which is over here and thereafter we provide an underscore then we write a project next up we need to initialize the sdk with the command pico underscore sdk underscore init next up we write in a command to create an executable target blink from a single source file that is blink.c the command for that is add underscore executable and within arguments we pass the target name blink and the source file blink.c next we have to link the libraries or flags the given target for that we type in target underscore link underscore libraries we provide the target name and the libraries used we have only used the pico standard library this much code is sufficient to produce an elf file but we know that in case of elf we need to upload it with the swt method serially onto the raspberry pi pico but if you want to use the simpler drag and drop method of the mass storage we need to provide some other details in order to create the uf2 file also this command will generate all the different file formats from uf2 elf binary map etc otherwise it will only generate the .elf file so type in the command pico underscore add extra outputs and provide the target name as blank that's it save the files and shut your visual studio code then restart your visual studio code it should automatically prompt you to configure the project with a kit but if you have no kit active or no kit selected select it as gcc for arm 10.2.1 click on your project file and hit build the build has started as you can see it has proceeded to 8% let it finish We have created all of our necessary files and you can find the blink.er2 file in the build folder within your project all right so my pico board is already running the pico examples blink project but uh, now i need to upload my blink project or uf2 file onto this pico for that i need to reconnect and press the blue cell button while connecting it again but i won't do that i have created a hack I'll press the reset button which I have created, then press the boot select button, release the reset button. Ta da! Isn't it crazy? You can create this hack on your own or you can solder it itself onto the board. I've created a video about this hack, go check it out. Now let's drag and drop this blink uf2 file onto the RPI RP2 storage device and release it. As you can see, our program has been uploaded and the LED is blinking. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, press that like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell notification in order to stay tuned for latest video tutorials and projects. And until next time, see you soon.